Hi, Thomas here. And today I'm very excited to talk about something which I was really looking forward for a very long time called Jumpstart Drops. So as many as you, of you know, I obviously create a lot of like scripts or diagrams or certain tooling or just different assets which make life in a Microsoft universe and especially when it comes to hybrid cloud and multi-cloud uh, slightly easier. Now, the question is, but became really, okay, so where do we host all these assets, right? So we create something and obviously we can share that our personal properties, we can host them on GitHub and so on. Uh, but how do I actually find them or how do I share them to others and make them available so that I actually find a solution for this, the challenge I have. And so that is something uh, where we're gonna have a look at today with uh, jump, our Jumpstart Drops. But Many of you might remember kind of like the, in the old days where we had uh, Microsoft TechNet, which was basically now is Microsoft Learn. Uh, earlier it was called Microsoft Docs. And obviously it's all about the documentation and things like that, right? Um, but they also had a part called TechNet Script Center. And I'm sure like many of you, of you uh, still remember TechNet Script Center, which was actually a similar place to host certain assets, right? Not just scripts, but also if you created something like a documentation or a tool, you were able basically to host it there. And then obviously with the transformation that actually went away. So this is actually where Jumpstart Drops can jump right in and help you um, using that platform to share your assets as well. And obviously, if you're not familiar with Arc Jumpstart, there's a lot of more things which Jumps, Arc Jumpstart provides when it comes to Azure Arc, Azure Local, and many of our hybrid and multi-cloud pro pro products, such as also for Azure IoT operations, for example, um, as well. So let's have a quick look at Jumpstart Drops and how you can actually leverage that. So here we are on the Arc Jumpstarts page. You basically can do jumpstart.azure.com uh, and you will land on this page. And here it's really about getting yourself ready with our adaptive cloud efforts, which includes hybrid, multi-cloud and edge using products such as, as just said, Azure Arc, uh, Azure Local, Azure IoT operations and many, many other things as well. So. If you scroll down, uh, you basically see a list of what we have in the Jumpstart universe. And there's a different kind of things like which we're not gonna dive in today, but um, I highly encourage you to check those out um, when you wanna try out uh, and you wanna jumpstart your hybrid cloud journey uh, using the Microsoft uh, products. So today we're gonna talk about Jumpstart uh, drops. And so you can see here, if I go uh, to Jumpstart drops, uh, it's really about having these like different artifacts and assets available here. So let's go to Jumpstart Drops and this takes you to the Jumpstart Drops page. And you can see here, it's kind of like a gallery um, with all these different cards here uh, with drops published by various different people, right? Some of them working for Microsoft, some of them are Microsoft MVPs, some of them are customers, partners, like basically anyone can actually contribute and share their assets uh, there as well, right? It doesn't need to be a script. It can also, for example, be some documentation on something, how to do something, um, but it can also be like tooling and, and much, much more. And so let's have a look at this page, for example. So you can see here, uh, we have some new assets here on top, like so the latest one you can see directly here. And then if you scroll down, you can see here there's tons of different things. Um, and then you have the description on what it actually does, right? Uh, what I also quickly want to show, and I will show you then like some of the drops here and how you can create the drop as well. But if you look at the left side, it makes it a little bit easier for you to find the right thing, right? So if you're looking for something for Arc enabled servers, for example, you can filter uh, for that as well. And then you will be basically seeing all these specific things to our Arc enabled servers as well. And we will look at this in just a bit, but also, if you're looking at different languages, so if you're looking for a bicep template, for example, um, if you look at a PowerShell script and you know you want to use that specifically, you can also filter for that. And then there are certain levels um, we expect to look at and then here what type it is, right? But you can also obviously use the search uh, here as well. So if you look for something specific, uh, you can just type it here in here as well. So for now, let's have a look at one of the drops here. So let's go for Arc. Uh, enabled service, take that as an example here. Um, and then we have here, you can see here, 
uh, a couple of different scripts uh, or assets. So one here I want to quickly highlight is the Azure Arc Windows Extended Security Updates dashboard. So as you know, um, Arc offers um, uh, Windows Extended Security Updates to Windows Server and SQL. And so there's like, okay, how can I actually look at this? So my former colleague or still colleague, if I will, uh, former teammate, uh, Sarah Lean created something there. So if you click on this, you can actually see uh, what this drop is all about, right? So you can like have a look at here the uh, dashboard. So it shows, she has a, put a print screen in on what it actually shows. Um, and then you can actually go and see the contributors page uh, you can see the prerequisites, what you actually need to have, and then uh, getting started on how to deploy this. Uh, and this is basically in the back end, hosted in GitHub. So you can see here with all the drops, you can find here the link to view in GitHub. So all the scripts and things are stored in a GitHub repository. And just for you, if you want to create the drop, I will show that in, to you in just a bit. You can actually use the Jumpstart Drops repository or you can use your own, right? So if you want to use it on your own GitHub account, with your own repository, that's absolutely fine as well. So there are certain prerequisites every drop has, such as, for example, an index file, and that's actually the description, right? So where you can see here, we have the title, as we just saw before, with the print screen, and then you have the contributor section and so on. And basically the Jumpstart drop page, what this gallery renders it that specifically and puts it into this page uh, as well. So you get all the assets here and if you wanna have a different look at it, uh, uh, you can have a look at this as well. And this also allows you, by the way, to do pull requests, right? And ask, hey, like, I wanna change something there and we can actually have a look at if that it actually works. So let's have a quick look here at how to create the drop. Um, if we close this here again, um, if you go up on the on the top of the page, you can see here there's a button create drop. So if you hit that, um, we will go into kind of like a wizard uh, thing. And so you can actually choose um, uh, all the different settings, right? So for example, is this drop living in the GitHub repository of Arc? Or is it my personal GitHub repository? So I have, I have one and I created a drop and I will show you that in just a bit. Um, but I just entered the URL here. So we'll use that, whoops, where's that lab kit here? Okay, put this in. And then we can either, like if I create multiple drops in the backend, this is basically a JSON file, uh, which defines the whole drop. Uh, we can, like if you're very familiar with it, we can basically clone this and just edit it in a JSON, but you can also use this, the wizard, which I like very much. So what we can do here is we can enter um, the title of my drop. This is Adaptive Cloud Lab Kit, for example. And then like my name, can also add my social media profiles here as well if I want to uh, add a description. This is a drop. Obviously, you would write a real description here and like really specific on what it actually does. But in my case, I'm just gonna make it very simple just to show you, right? And then obviously it's important to tag this resource right. So in my case, I've, this is all about ARC specific things. Um, could also be other things as well here. Uh, but I think with Arc we are good uh, on this case. Uh, what is it, what, what code does it have? So it has, for example, PowerShell code. And it's kind of like medium level here um, as well. We have some like information here, what that means. So you can look at this as well. And then what it actually does. So it's focused on Kubernetes and containers, for example. And you can obviously also add your own tagging as well. And in this case, I would call it it's a script or automation or like maybe more a tutorial uh, as well. And then you can go to the next section and you will be able to now see how the drop will look like. Um, and if you look at this, this basically already renders automatically from my Git repo, which I will just show you in a bit. But once you're done, you would just create create and this will then automatically create a pull request um, to the Jumpstart team. And we basically review the quality of these drops as well, right? So not everything just like when you go to this, you expect a certain amount of quality, uh, which we have a look at. So what is behind this? You saw me quickly posting um, the GitHub URL. If I quickly go to this specific uh, Git repository, what I created is kind of like a tutorial on how to use an Intel NUC to basically use Arc-enabled services. Uh, and I call it the Azure Adaptive 
Cloud Lab Kit. And so if you scroll that down here, you will see all this, this uh, different information, which is now also will be shown on the page itself. And then you can see here, that's why I use titles like contributors, getting started, um, prerequisites and so on. This is all going through then and will be rendered on this specific page uh, as well. And again, this is more on the documentation side of things, right? This is really is a tutorial. It has a little bit of sample code or code in there to automate things. Um, but again, there's a lot of things in there and it can be completely different. If you just have a script uh, which does something, um, that also wor absolutely works. So if I go back to this page, you could see I could create. Um, but now for now, let's just leave it. I'm not going to create this one because I already have created it. So let's go and search for lab kit. And now this is how it will look like when it shows up, right? So as soon as it's approved, it will then show up like this, like this specific card. And then you can basically go through and see uh, what I just, what the content was there uh, on this page as well. So you can see here, as you can see the different titles I had with getting started uh, and so on, you can find that here. Now, if you look at this and think about, okay, there's also some scripts involved maybe, or something like that, right? There's some assets and all that. It's not just one documentation page for some of the drops. So there's also this download button, which you can leverage. So you basically, if you hit that one, it will basically download a zip file of this repository with all the assets in it. So it makes it super easy for you to get everything you need uh, onto your machine. Or you can also share this drop with someone. Um, so you can basically copy the URL here directly to this drop and share it with someone uh, you know who, can, who could use that. So I think that is a pretty cool thing. And obviously this is all community driven. So we have obviously the internal Microsoft community, but we also have the external community as well. So everyone is welcome to contribute and share their different assets in Jumpstart Drops uh, there as well. So really looking forward for more drops there. If you have shared a drop, please let me know in the comments, uh, add some links there as well to promote your drop. So with that, we actually have a new way of sharing your assets and artifacts online, right? From scripts, again, to tooling, um, to workbooks in Azure, to automation stuff, to tutorials. You can actually really leverage Jumpstart Drops uh, directly on this page to contribute and also share your own contributions there as well. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video.